All right. So when we look at uh, the different blocks that we have, we have an image block type that has quite a number of settings. For most of the other block types, it's just a simple, we'll add a CSS class to it and we can edit that. Uh, let's say if we are looking even at the audio block, uh, if you choose it, you'll see that it has an option for just adding a class. Now, the common content types, uh, we do have uh, things like images. Now, images come with so many options as we create our content. One is that we would probably want to have it full width, so we want it to blow out of all our articles so that it has a feeling of um, we are breaking the monotony of lots of content. And by that I mean if we updated our page and actually went to the front and decided to see it, if we reload that page, we'll see that we have our, uh, our text here and our, uh, and our heading here and then we have the big image floating all over um, our front page. Now this is quite huge, we probably don't want to use it that way. So um, what we can do is let's say we can even add um, a class and say we'll reduce it so that we have this in a particular height and let's say maybe we'll have it in a height of uh, height 400. So this is the new class we are going to add to our block. And if we will just update this here and reload here, but of course we'll try to reload this in our customizer so that we can see what's going on. So if I add the dot and the class and then I try to add uh, more information here. So let's say I decide I want this to be with a height of only 200 pixels you realize that uh, this is starting to get distorted and that is fine. So what we shall do is we shall say if there is an overflow of content we shall hide it. So just using a little CSS we'll find that we've actually reduced this and made it quite easy. You can see from, from Gutenberg here that we don't have to do so much. We already have um, all our content. We can just add a little a little class here and then we are able to affect it on our home page. So besides adding the, the class, <coughs> you can choose to say I want this to be a particular size of the image that I am using. So as you choose the different types, you're able to, to have it with more clarity and that is not all. So we can choose to say maybe we will just want it to be wide width which is about a section of our page or we can choose to say we want to align it right or align it in the center and just have it normal which is okay also so we can have that at a large base or medium and wouldn't look so bad so we'll leave it at large and we have the option that should never be an option for you uh, is adding an old tag so we can say lady opening a cold cabin door. Now what this does is that the alt tag will allow for people who browse our website and probably they have visual impairments, they're able to listen to a screen reader read out what's happening with this image and this alt tag text is where all this information comes in. So if you click this um, link that's just below that's helping us know it takes you to the to the standards of the web that shows us uh, why we should have this alt tag and the other option that we do have is actually styling this image so for now we can mask it as a, uh, as a circle mask we can also make it default which is the normal on the image block we can actually add our our caption so it's just an image an image that was uh, randomly selected and then we can choose to say maybe we'll make this bold, we'll italicize it or we can even uh, link it to an external page uh, somewhere and yeah that's available for us in the image block. So you see Gutenberg is already doing so many things for me with the image uh, tag. If you want to experience actually there are more more ways of dealing with the image 
um, that we, we don't have in our current 5.30 of WordPress. But if you want to see how these are stretched more and more options do come up, you can install the Gutenberg plugin by going to the plugin section uh, here and adding a new plugin, which is the Gutenberg coming from the WordPress core team, uh, the Gutenberg core team in WordPress. And they keep on updating and adding more and more blocks and make improving even the way we interact with them. So you can see the changes that are coming up with that block and you add them to your WordPress site and you can actually use them. Thank you for watching this video. The next block that we shall be looking at is actually the gallery and see how we can work with our gallery block. So thank you for watching.